I have been fascinated with audio production and editing since I was about six years old. Yeah, and that goes back a few years. One of the things I've always done, with no matter what I use to record with, is just play around with the software or the uh, equipment and see what happens. One of those things that I learned a long time ago was something called reverse echo. Man, what that can do to a recording, especially when you're trying to come up with something that sounds kind of spooky. Let's try it out. Reverse echo can be really fun. It can add a lot of scary sounds to your recording. So let's record something first of all, just a brief phrase. And let's hit the record button. Enter at your own risk. All right, now let's trim that. Control T. And I'm going to normalize that to minus 1 dB. Add a little bit of dynamics processing. I like this one here, Compander. And we are set. Enter at your own risk. Good. All right, uh, next we want to make sure there's enough on either side of the, the heads and the tails. There's plenty of room there to play with. So I'm going to add five seconds on each side and generate silence five. And then let's go to the end. I'm using my keyboard shortcuts. My generate silence shortcut is the letter G on my keyboard. Okay. And there we go. First thing we we'll want to do is reverse the audio. And that's a U-turn sign up here. And you can find it over here in effects as well. But I like to use the, the quick way. All right. Now let's add the echo. Under effects, go to reverb, full reverb, and choose the best long echo. And I think a football referee would work here. All right, let's click OK. All right, that's it so far. Let's play that. Okay, that's our scary voiceover in Russian. Let's turn it around. And there we go. At your own risk. There you go. And I, I would normalize it one more time. And now you're ready to roll with a scary voiceover. Well, now, wasn't that very fun? I'll tell you, if there's anything that ever made you go, hey, I wonder how they made that sound, let me know. And if I can do it, I'll show you how to do it. If I can't do it, I'll find out how to do it, and we'll share it here. Also, join my Facebook group, Inside Adobe Audition.